Got a question here from Susie2022. Hello. Uh, are you able to break down guarantor loans? Um, I want to be a guarantor for my brother. That's good on you. Approximately 850 to 900k for my property value and owing for 71k. That's a really good question. First of all, kudos to you for helping your brother. So that's a really great gesture. And there's two channels to this. So I'm going to answer both. Number one is the guarantor loan, which is what you're referring to. However, the lending responsibility falls onto your bro, not you. Number two is the equity cash out, which is you cash out equity from this, uh, you know, 850k property, and you gift him the cash out. The difference with a guarantor loan is your brother will be borrowing the, um, you know, 20% deposit and stamp duty uh, against your property, but. At the end of the day, he is responsible for making the repayments. Whilst option two, you're looking at cashing out equity from your property, and once the money hits your bank account, you gift it to him. If you're looking at 850k property, at 80%, uh, you can maximally borrow up to 680k. Uh, the base loan is 471k, as you just uh, mentioned. The equity will be about $209,000. Going with the example of the guarantor loan, if your brother wants to purchase an Andrew $36,000 property, but he has zero cash in his bank account, he can get a guarantor loan against your security up to 209. So 20% plus stamp duty will be roughly around $209,000, which he'll be using against the new property. Essentially, he's borrowing 105% from the bank. Guarantor loans are perfect for people who have no deposit, but they have really good income to service that type of debt. Because not only you're servicing the 80%, but you're also servicing the 20% and stamp duty from the guarantor loan. Now the question is, what if he can't service that type of debt? Well, option number two. So option number two is equity cash out and you gift it to him. For example, uh, for example, you go back to your bank or you refinance it with a new lender and the cash out will be 209 on top of that that equals 80% of 850 k in this example. Now, when you're doing that, you will need to tell the bank why you're cashing out your property. If you tell them it's a cash gift, they might not lend that money to you. So see how you go, but um, this type of option where people are cashing out an equity release for someone else to purchase a property is not often done. They'll usually go through option one. But again, I'm just giving you two options. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you again.